This is Ruth Duckett. Um, Ruth is a very feisty older woman, very proudly 95 years old, going well, living independently in the family home. How old am I now? 95. Don't tell me. <laughs> I'm Margaret Duckett, I'm Ruth's eldest daughter, um, and I basically act as an advocate for Ruth's needs. My mother was one of the founding members of Amnesty International Group at Macquarie University. I've been brought up by both my parents to be very aware of the rights of people. Well, I was hospitalised a couple of times down at uh, Wyong Hospital, and uh, they were emergencies I suppose because you know, I, I, had, I had to call an ambulance at like three o'clock in the morning so that all the neighbours eventually discovered oh there was an ambulance out the front at three o'clock in the morning and um, I couldn't couldn't breathe at all basically just fighting for breath uh, so I went down there they got my nebulizers and x-rays and things like that I uh, came out and then a couple of days later I went back in again, exactly the same way. Ruth had a major health problem in um, 2012 and as part of the recuperation from that, spent seven weeks in um, uh, residential care as a sort of a convalescent after a whole lot of hospital-based care. And that was very, very bad for Ruth's health. Probably the most important thing is the ability to be able to continue to live here. I really solidly support the idea of consumer directed care because it means that the client and or their advocate can work out what best suits the client. It's important because to write the autobiography, oftentimes there are a lot of people in this world that have adventurous lives or whatever. I have had a very adventurous life. Um, and when you equate that with where I am now, I want to recapture that. It's all the other things that you've done as well, like gold mining up in Papua New Guinea, um, the people that I've met, how your attitudes have changed, your attitudes, for example, about freedom. How important is it for you to live at home? Oh, every, every bit of my life. It's, I couldn't live without it. I couldn't live in, in care. I just couldn't. The facilities which I'm being getting at the moment are really good. But one of the big things with what well, I've got, which is COPD or emphysema, is that you have to have the place clean. Carpets in particular have to be clean so as to remove dust and whatever. Uh, so I have a, a clinic that's provided by Sue Mann who comes in once a week. She was also supplied by Sue Mann. And until last month, we we're getting just half an hour each morning, um, three and a half hours a week, uh, which we used to, for Ruth to have support while she had a daily shower and get, and get dressed in the morning, because that was very important to Ruth to have a daily shower, not two or three times a week, which is what many agencies like to provide. I spoke to Trish about getting a gardener in as well and they provided that too and that was able to get the whole backyard into shape. There's a certainty about the package as well. I know for example when the people are going to arrive and that's important. Ruth has some increasing problems and so what we're trying to do is increase the support she has and that's why I talked about the change in, in hours and how useful it's been to have the extra hours and the extra availability of support. That's the beautiful part about it, it's not just the service that you get, but it's the type of people that you get as well. My understanding of consumer directed care is that you are given a set number of hours or it could be a set amount of money that you can choose what your priorities are for the use of it. So we just sat down and uh, she said, what do you expect from the plan? And we worked it out, we, set, we worked it out together and um, it worked out extremely well. Well, currently I don't know what the exact budget is that's been allocated for Ruth. And I actually would like to know what the exact budget is for Ruth. And then I could be very clear on 
what services I could purchase. It's important that I get that I know what what I am budgeted to do, uh, because it helps you keep a rough plan of that. However, I must admit I am not the greatest businessman in the world when it comes to figures and things like that. So I do need a bit of help as well in that being presented. And Andrew came out just uh, two weeks ago. He brought out the plan, uh, showed me how much of the budget I'd spent already, etc. So it allows me to, to keep track of it. So at least to be able to know where I'm going. For Ruth, as a very strong-willed, independent woman her whole life, living by herself in the family home with all the memories around her is by far the best option for Ruth. And I, I couldn't be happier. If someone was new to this and didn't know um, about consumer-directed um, care, I'd suggest they go to the Home Care Today website. It's really clear, it's very easy to find information, and then there's also the option to ask for some further questions and to contact people and to really explore what the options are for you, for you or the person you're advocating on behalf of.